Harry Kane has come to the forefront. He's uh, scored five goals in two games. Uh, you picked him out the other day of, uh, to be top scorer of the tournament. Yeah. So I've got to get that in. Um, you know him well. Uh, when was the first time that uh, you saw him play? Um, well, I saw him in, in training. Uh, How old would he, he be then? He would have been maybe 14, 15 years old. Uh, maybe six, 16. Maybe 16. Um, I'd heard about him. You know, before I knew that he was a a goal scorer mm. at every level that he'd, he'd played at. Was he one of those players but, who, you know, it was always expected that he would get to the very top? <clears throat> uh, you know, I'm not sure anyone expected him to reach the level he has done mm. now, uh, especially at you know such a rapid rate. He was always, as I say, he was always a goal scorer. He always had a natural instinct of scoring the goals, and and when you have players like that, you know, you, you try to hang on to them, you develop them. Uh, because that, that is a, a rarity, yeah. you know, a natural born goal scorer. The, the thing that impressed me was his uh, mental mental state and his desire to improve yeah. and, and, to, and to be one of the best. Um, it, was there a time when, or a moment or a game where you thought that now he can take it to the next level? He, he's kind of, this is the time when he's, he, he's took it past his expected uh, destination um, career wise. <clears throat> There's been plenty of plenty of moments where, you know, I've been left in awe at these goals. But I think one particular game was a Chelsea game uh, at White Hart Lane, and you know he's up against a very strong back four, and his performance in that game really let me know that he had arrived at the, mm. the, the highest level. Uh, and uh, you know he seems to be against going from strength to strength, which is even more impressive. And you know even the captaincy, being the, the England captain takes everything in his stride, yeah. uh, you know, seems to enjoy the, the, the pressure moments and uh, you know, I think that this is what we look for in, in, a, in, a, in a footballer, especially someone who's going to be leading the country, uh, you know, lives a clean life uh, and is dedicated to his craft and uh, you know, I think that's why everyone loves him and everyone's behind him to do well. Yeah. So I mean, we've obviously got a Spurs angle on this, so look from a Spurs <coughs> point of view, Real Madrid come in with a £200 million bid for him in the summer, which, like we said, we've, uh, we've, we've said about uh, Daniel Levy's been very shrewd getting him to sign a new contract before the tournament. Mm. He obviously knew what was going to happen, uh, and it's quite yeah. feasible that this bid will come in, yeah. or that a bid like that will come in. What happens then? Well, I think, <coughs> I think Harry stays. I think Harry's, uh, he knows he's loved and valued at, at, the, at the football club, and I think you know, similar to myself in a way, you know, someone who came through the youth set up and wants to take the club to the next level and, and to be able to win things. And I sense that with Harry, you know, I feel that he wants to be the focal point of, you know, England, uh, sorry, uh, Tottenham being Premier League champions, uh, you know, Champions League champions. He, he wants to be someone who's, who's part of that, you know, obviously the manager is, uh, has signed his new contract and he's shown that he wants to be part of, of that as well so you know as, when you get someone like Harry to, to follow suit uh, you know he lets everyone know that the club means business uh, moving forward and and hopefully uh, can go on to win things in, in the, the foreseeable future. And going into the new stadium it's yeah. obviously a must yeah. it's yeah. the likes of Harry Kane stay. Yeah yeah of course uh, you know as, and as, as I've said this Harry's a he's a level-headed lad and you know, I think the most important thing for him is is uh, playing football and, and playing at the highest level. And the, and Tottenham are a team that have been competing for for, for Premier Leagues for the last few years now, um, competing in the Champions League. And um, you know, I always said with myself, it would, it would mean more to win one or two than to win five or six elsewhere. Mm. And I sense that with Harry as well. So. Uh, you know, he can get everything that he needs playing at Tottenham. You know, play, still playing at the very highest level, still playing for his country, he's captain in his country. So uh, what, what more does he need?